Locator calls like this crow call we're gonna go over is one of the most important tools that I carry in my turkey vest year in, year out. What it does is it allows you to elicit a response from a bird, a gobbler, will gobble at a crow, an owl, a hawk, without giving hen calls to give your location away. You're not alerting him to the fact that there's a hen yelping. He hears a crow blast or an owl hoot or a hawk scream or a peacock or whatever high shrill noise and causes him to gobble. You can reposition and move in on that turkey without, again, alerting him to the presence of a hen. Sometimes it doesn't work. In that case, I try to get as closest to the gobbler as I can before I use my hen calls. As I'm closing in, I'm trying to cover as much ground and get tight to that bird with using hen calls if the locator doesn't work. But let's just presume it does work and we're gonna go forward and talk about a crow call here. Crow call is one of my favorites. Um, I use it at daybreak. I use it in mid morning, in the afternoon. It's loud, it's shrill, it's a great call. Um, it's very, very simplistic to use. There's two or three different key things we're gonna go over and uh, you're gonna get great sounds. And this is a Woodhaven real crow. It's a great call, easy to blow again. If you hear crows, they call, call, call. If you go look on YouTube, look on your social media platforms, you can find footage of crows. Call, call, call. All you're doing when you make to create that calling sound on a crow call basically is blowing in it with a call, 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 call rhythm. Just like so. That's your basic call. You hear crows do it all the time. Like so. Now one little quick tip. When you're blowing at a longer series like that, you're going to want to open your mouth around the piece and inhale and then exhale so you can continue to blow breaths or blow call into the call and get the calling sound without running out of air in your lungs. So you're going to see me taking my lips off the call. You take a breath and you don't have to interrupt the actual sequence you're creating. You don't want to go too long again because the gobbler may gobble while you're doing it and then you may not hear him gobble. That's not a good thing. So give a couple short blasts and listen. If that doesn't work, then you can get a little longer. The next level we're going to talk about with the crow call to get even more realism is to get the growling sound that you hear a crow create. Uh, the growling sound is done by, by gargling. If you had gargle mouthwash in your gargling or water and you just poured it in the back of your throat and you, you can get your uvula to roll. You're going to do that while blowing into the crow call. So you get the basic call we did earlier. That's the basic crow sound. A bird will gobble at that. But to take it a step further, we get the growl. And again, it's like if you have water in your back of your throat, you're slightly closing your throat to get that sound, that, that vibrating sound. And that just added another level of realism to the crow. You can hear my uvula rotating or, or vibrating and rolling over to get that next level sound. From there, I'm gonna blast a couple calls and then do a couple growls, and then that's gonna really be realism that may jerk a gobble out of one this spring. So here we go, I'm gonna do the growls and some calling. And then give it a listen. And there is Crow Calling 101. Take the crow call to the woods this spring, it's gonna be very vital in your success. To take your calling instruction even further, go to the Google Play Store or the App Store and look up Turkey Tech with Scott Ellis. It's an in-depth look at the wild turkey's vocabulary. It has pro tips on how to call birds, when to call birds, when to use the call. It has wild turkeys creating the sounds. It has me giving instruction in audio and video blocks. It's a very, very comprehensive look at hunting and calling the wild turkey.